Now you've set your Scarlett as GarageBand's audio device, let me show you how to record audio to a track. When opening GarageBand for the first time, you'll be asked to create a track. I'm going to create an audio track by selecting either record using a microphone or connect a guitar. I'll be unchecking I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. And then select create. We'll start by saving the session. Go to file, save and name your session. To set the input source, head over to the input channel drop down menu. Channel 1 corresponds to input 1 and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your Scala and so on if you have a larger device. I'll be selecting channel 1 to record input 1 from my Scala. Press the record button in the transport bar to start recording. Play your instrument or sing into the microphone connected and you'll see the waveform being recorded on the track. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Ooh, la. To stop the recording at any point, press the space bar or the stop button. You can play back the recorded track by pressing the space bar or the play button. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Create a new audio track, select the plus button near the top, select either record using a microphone or connecting a guitar, then select create. Configure the input settings and you'll be ready to record. Remember channel 1 corresponds to input 1 and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your Scarlett and so on if you have a larger device.